What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Thursday, and today is, of course, Expanded Thursday. And uh, today we are looking at an Asogor Stoutland deck, or as they call it, Bark and Cover. Uh, so this list is actually provided by Clayton, Tom, and Scott. I think Scott wrote an article. I think maybe Tom, no, Tom wrote an article about the deck itself. And I'll leave a link down below to it. It's from Verbank. Sorry, there's a car going by right now uh but we'll have a link to it on verbank so you can see it. you can read the article by tom it goes in a lot of details and it has multiple different deck lists as well for expanded uh this was posted before portland uh so everybody going could actually be prepared for it but if you don't know so Statland's gonna be our main guy here it's got the ability sentinel and as long as pokemon is your act pokemon your opponent can't play any sport cards from his or hand so that means no guzma no ace Rolla, uh, no AZ, nothing to get out of any kind of locking situations unless they play like a Switch, which we know nobody really plays Switch. And uh, the only other way is to play like maybe at a Keldeo, but even Keldeo you can just bring up and get it stuck in the active spot. Maybe a Zark, the standing one, once again you can just bring it to the active and get it stuck. If they only play one of then you're okay. Once they start playing two Keldeos or two standing Zark stats where you're in trouble with this deck. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, well Sogar has the attack deck and cover. Uh, that if any Pokemon's now paralyzed and poisoned, shuffle this Pokemon all cards attached to it into your deck. Uh, so essentially what you do is you deck and cover, you send in the Stoutland, and then your opponent can't use any supporter cards to get out of the active spot, and they're kind of stuck there. Now you're going to be saying, what happens when they get knocked out? Well, with Dustnor, they're actually ever, never going to get knocked out because you're going to move the damage counters off of them. So you're going to sinister the damage counters off the active to the bench, and you're going to keep the active locked up uh, forever, and then you'll eventually just win the game by using Sinister Hand and taking your six prize cards. Now, there's a lot of different other things going to this deck, and that's why they play these third cards. Uh, they played this Lily Pub because it has 60 HP instead of the 50. The 51 has Collect, but with a single Steam Up with a Volcanion, you can get knocked out. Of course, this is a better Hurtier. It's got Treasure Hunt to put a uh, trainer card from your Discard pile back into your hand, so you're going to use those. Uh, they're playing this Zora. Even though I hate the Zora, we'll play this one. It has the paralyzing. It has the paralyzing gaze to paralyze your opponent's active. And Zark GX. Now this deck used to play Marshana, which is looked at top two. Put one in your hand. But with trade, you could just trade instead instead of using Marshana. And it's a good attacker. Ride right? of speed. It could help you win the game in the end. Uh, that's why we're playing the Zark instead of Marshana. Uh, egg, obviously for Zark, you can propagate the trade away. You can also use like Ultra Ball, Dust Machine, anything like that with the Egg, which is great. Uh, they're playing this Duskull, I guess, because it has more HP. I don't think he talked about this one in the article. And then this Shelmet because he has Yawn. So I, all these pieces have been well thought out and why they're playing these certain baby stages. And of course, Mew is to cover the Aselgore, so that way you don't have to ever shuffle your Aselgore back to the deck and to top you lately for consistency. So, one counter catcher, this is going to be really good because you're not taking prizes until the end of the game. And you can just bring up that Keldeo or the Zork off the bench, the active, like I was talking about. There's a Douse Machine, so you get any trainer card from your discard pile back into your hand. Now, that's any of these. See, they all say trainer cards, they say trainer cards. So, you're going to get back your supporter, stadium, or item card. Uh, Field Blower, of course, get rid of stadiums and tool cards. One of Love Ball, and he talks about this in an article, but I'll go over it. He says, you know, why only play the one? Well, with the Hurtier, you can essentially just like uh, Love Ball for Hurtier, Hurtier for Love Ball, Hurtier for, uh, for the other Love Ball for Selgor. So it's like you're using Love Ball three times in a row if it does work out that way, which is a pretty cool idea. Uh, full Rare Candy to get that stat line out ASAP. One Stretcher for Ultra Ball. And the two via Seeker, which is the only thing I think is kind of low, but maybe they're preparing for, for uh, Seismitoad or Trevenant with Item Locking. Now there's a 1-1 split of Silent Lab and the Skyfield. Uh, Silent Lab is definitely going to be for the Keldeo. Um, it could be used for Verizian as well if for some reason Verizian does any in uh, play. Uh, but each poke, each basic Pokemon to play in each player's hand and each player's Jisco Brow has no abilities. So that way the Keldeo can use rush in to get rid of the Paralyzation. A Skyfield of course is for because you have a full bench and you're going to need some extra bench boxes. Bench spots. Uh, two Brigetti here uh, to get three base Pokemon onto your bench. Three Colors. Uh, one Gladian. Uh, you're going to have a lot of stuff prized, so Gladian's going to help you get those out of there. One Guzma, two in, two Sycamore. Of course, there's some standard supporter cards. Three Flowstone, mainly for Stoutland, uh, so you can get that for your treat. And four DCE. Now, Tom says this is a very, very hard deck to play, which is great because we all know that I'm great at playing hard decks. 
Uh, so let's go this. Let's save it. Uh, if you hear Chelsea laughing, just ignore her because she's going to be laughing at me the whole time. Thank you, Chelsea, so much. I love you. Thank you. Okay, so let's go to Stoutland. Well, let's name what they call it. They call them Bark and Cover. So we'll call it Bark and Cover. Now, this deck was actually recorded before Portland Regionals. Um, who, who, whoever won, I have no idea. Uh, we could be covering the first place list, but who really cares about first place? We're going to play this cool deck instead. So let's go over. Let's play Bark and Cover and see how bad I can do with it. Because I feel like it's going to go terrible for me. Uh, Tom said he puts over 150 games, which is a lot. Uh, that's easily over like 400 hours. It was, you know, 30 minutes a game, 150 games. So, and these games take forever because you're never really taking a knockout. You're just ducking cover over and over again. So, this should go fantastic. Alright, so let's see who goes first. Of course, they're going to go first because they won the coin flip. And, alright. Well, that's that's a terrible hand. Good. Good things are happening already. Uh, we just got to Shelmet, put Shelmet down and just pass because we don't have any other things in our hand right now. So Shelmet, press done, and uh, hopefully we could draw something. Maybe they'll end us, maybe they'll judge us. There's a Red Rock, so I have no idea what he's playing right now. Uh, that's a card we really don't see too much. Unless it's like Buzz War, maybe Zygarde. He's got a Zygarde right there. So there is a Rim Raid. That's an ugly looking Rim Raid. Fighting and Reactive Pass onto our turn. Well, we'll, uh, we'll Guzma up his Rim Raid to get a, maybe get stuck in the Axe Spot. He can't retreat it. Put down Duskull so we don't lose automatically. And we'll press Dunn onto our opponent's turn. I mean, we do have a Silgar. We do have Dusnort. If we can top deck it in, we're okay. If we don't, then we're in trouble. So Fighting is Deactive. We'll see your retreat. There's an Ultra Ball. Discarding two. Discarding an Ace Rolla and a Sycamore. Uh, does he grab a Rim Raid here? Or Octillery. So... He can retreat, evolve an Octillery, and then enhance Stomp us. Which, um, if he finds a Muscle Band, he can knock us out. So there's Retreat to Red Rock. There is the Octo coming down. So like I said, he needs a Kakui, a uh, Deontay, or a Muscle Band to take a knockout. So there's another Red Rock coming down. He is weak to Grass, Muscle Band, and that's a knockout. Okay. Uh, VS Seeker for Sycamore, and this is going great. Alright, so... We'll see the Sycamore come down, discard his hand, draw on 70 cards, has two VS Seekers. Uh, yeah, Enhanced Tom's going to take a knockout. There's a Nest Ball. Let's see, does he grab a Baby Buzzwall here? Maybe another Regirock. Um, okay, so there's Deontay, so he's for sure taking a knockout now. Okay. Uh, Lander's EX make an appearance and Enhanced Tom for the knockout, doing 80 damage, which can one shot our Dusk on next turn. Uh, we do have VS Seeker for Guzma, trying to get somebody stuck in the Axe Spot. And then there's a Tapu Lele. So Tapu Lily, Wonder Tag, yes. We'll grab a N. Uh, we really can't grab Burgetti here because we'll be in trouble. So grab the N. We'll put down Skyfield um, just to thin our deck down. And then we'll play N to get a new hand of six. Let's see. Can we find some more basic Pokemon? Uh, the answer is no. <clears throat> so we will put down Shelmet. We'll put down Mew as well. And then we'll press done the only problem is we don't have a supporter card next turn uh we didn't have a way to treat the dust goal we see another roommate hit the field a mewtwo ex coming down a uh, buzzle coming down and uh so he has pretty, pretty much has no way to get out of this lock if we ever do get it uh but playing for three um if we top deck a dc next turn we'll be okay and he probably plays like, well, he does have a, a, a Cerola in his discard pile, but he has two VS Seekers in there. There's a strong energy going to Landorus EX, okay. And uh, he's going to take a knockout here. We promote the Shelmet, put down a Selgor. There's a Skyfill being bumped. Uh, going to discard probably the Rimmerade and Mewtwo. All right. And he's going to take the knockout here. So Cynthia Shuffle get a new hand of six. I'm going to Brigetti here. We're going to grab a Zora, another Dusk Golf that's in the deck. And then maybe. Oh, we, and then we get a, get a, uh, a Lily Pup. So we send up Shelmet. We got a Sogar, which has a Furry Retreat. Onto our turn. We get a Love Ball. So this is not what we want to see. So we'll put down a Sogar. We'll play Brigetti. We'll grab Zora, Dusk Golf, and Lily Pup. Okay. Um, we'll retreat into Tapu Lele and just press done into our opponent's turn. Uh, so even though we have a love ball, 
<clears throat> for a hardier next turn, that's not going to help us because there's no item cards in our discard pile. We could grab another level ball with it, but the extra level ball doesn't get us anything. So choice bin going to the Reggie Rock. Uh, there's a Rescue Stretcher. So he's not taking a knockout here, which is good. So we could love ball for a, a hardier and then eventually just get there. So VS Seeker for a Cynthia. And that's going to be his third VS Seeker. Okay, so he has one left. He probably plays only the one Acerola. He might play one Switch is what I'm kind of concerned about. But if we top deck like a Zork here, <clears throat> we'll be looking really good. Because what we could do is love ball for a... Um, Hurtier. Okay, there's an end, so we can. Yeah, I think we love a ball for Hurtier, no matter what. Um, or just hold it and just rare candy Stoutland. The only problem is we don't have a float stuff for next turn. Get an end. Um. Yeah, so I'm just gonna rare candy Stoutland. I'm just gonna put my deck down instead. So rare candy Stoutland. We'll end for a new hand of six. And let's see what we find here. So, who is blowing me up? Serena. All right, so we can Ultra Ball discard a Selgor in Stoutland. So Ultra Ball discard one and two <clears throat> to find a Zork. Okay, let's grab a Zork. We'll trade away the Stoutland. Getting two new cards. All right, so trade away Stoutland, getting two. Let's see, a stretcher and a Selgor, okay? And uh, right now we'll just DC the active and just energy drive. He's not taking the knock on top of Lily just yet next turn, so that's good. Um, um, so there's a Brooklyn Hill, Choice Fan, the Landorus, a Bisland for two. Let's see, if he gets the Guzma, three, six, seven, eight, 160. Hmm. The only problem is Stoutland's weak to fighting. So, okay, there's Guzma bringing up the Stoutland. Gonna send the Landers. Take a knockout here. And even though he's gonna get this, he's probably doesn't have another Guzma in his deck. Uh, he's starting to play 4 via Seeker, 30 on the Duskull. We'll send up the Aselgor. And let's see, on to our turn. Alright, so we get a Herdier. So we will, let's see. We got Stretcher, which get Lily Pup, two Stoutland back. That's probably what we really need to do here. Um, that still only gets back Fighting and Water, so nothing we need to grab out of there. So first, I'm gonna trade away the Sailgar, get two new cards. Let's see what we find here. So Douse Machine and Tapu Lele. Show a Stretcher. Shuffle three put one back into our deck. Getting one, two, three. We put a DC on the Mew. Douse machine at one and two to grab a N. Everyone in him does a little hand size. The only problem is he has Octo. Uh, so we'll in for a new hand of six. We'll put down Lily Pup. Retreat to Mew and deck and cover into the uh, the Tapu Lele. See, so yeah, I was in the Tapu Lele. He's got free tree right now, thanks to the DC attached to it. Oh, to our opponent's turn. Uh, he is paralyzed, so he cannot get out of this. He'll need a VS Seeker to get out of this. And uh, like I said, it comes down to does he play Switch or not. He's already played three. Oh, well, there's his fourth VS Seeker. Great. Uh, Guzma, he could take a double knockout here going down to one price card, and I wonder what he'll go after. End one, didn't even use Missile Hand and got the his last Via Seeker. Alright, but who does he bring up off this Guzma? I don't think he'd take a knockout on these Zork. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's only doing 200, so he can't knock out the Zork. If he Guzmas, he can't knock out the Lele, so he doesn't win this game this turn right now, which is good. His best plan is to knock out the Aselgor. Okay, so I'm bringing the Lily Pup, which, remember, this is his last VS Seeker. Uh, so, best plan for two. Alright, so this is where we need to make, like, the, the huge comeback, because he's going to get out of one price card. There's a Field Blower. Get rid of this. The only problem is we don't have... 
Well, I guess we can get Herdier out, and that can help us to eventually get the um, the Rescue Stretcher back. Because we don't have Rescue Stretcher either. We'll send up the Aselgor, okay. Goes down to one, on to our turn. All right, so we get Sound Lab. Sound Lab is not going to be useful to us at all. Um, <clears throat> well, Ultra Ball... Discard the Gladian and Countercatcher to find a Mew because we need Duck and Cover while saving the Mew. So grab the Mew, we'll put down Mew, we'll trade away the Sound Lab. If we don't find anything, then we lose right here. Let's see. Okay, so there's a Via Seeker. So we'll Via Seeker for N because we don't have Colors in the discard pile just yet. Even though we played three of them, we didn't find any of them yet. Um, we'll put down this. No, we need the bench spot. Yeah, so we'll have to end here to get six. He gets one. Hope we find a DC for this Mew. Okay, so we found the DCE. We got Ultra Ball. So we can put a DC here. Ultra Ball weigh one and two. To find a Lily Pup. We'll put down Lily Pup. Retreat and deck and cover for another 60 damage. Um. I th yeah, we're just gonna promote the Aselgor no matter what. Yeah, so send up the Aselgor. Okay. <clears throat> Taking the poison. The only problem is we knock out the Landorus next turn. Oh, there's a Float Stone to the Dawn Sea. We'll see a Bisplan for four. Does he find himself a Guzma or not? So there's a Scoop Up Cyclone, and uh, that's gonna be the game. <laughs> Uh, he's gonna send in the Octo. Wait, does he have game yet? He, he hit all the damage off, that's for sure. Okay, so let's see. Hand Stomp 20, 40, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's not a knockout. Oh, yeah, that's what am I doing? It's 100 damage. Can't do math. Alright, well, there we go. So, my point was Scoop Up Cyclone as well. Okay, that was great. Great, great, great. Mm. <clears throat> We started off strong. Probably should have scooped from the beginning because that hand, that opening hand was so bad. Uh, there's pretty much no way we were going to get set up from there. All right, on to game number two. We'll try it again. Um, also, we're playing against a fighting deck with scoop up Cyclone. That was great. All right, let's see. On to game number two. We're playing against another fighting deck. Uh, but it's fighting Lightning Psychic, so it could be Night March, maybe? Uh, call Heads. Lost the coin flip. So with Night March, the only real way to, like, Kind of lock them as hope they put down a shaman and then you deck and cover the shaman over and over again. Okay, we'll start shaman. <clears throat> um, press done. Okay. All right. So we have a a lot better hand this time, which is good. So there's a marsh shadow and a Deontay. All right. So it is a fighting deck. Uh, this train as well. He's weak to psychics. So that's good. That's going to speed the process up for us. Uh, when Taku Lele uses a deck and cover, because they'll do 100 damage every single turn. So, Floatstone. So, Floatstone the Deontay. Douse Machine. He's already playing Douse Machine, uh, which means, he, okay, yep, it's Night March. Discards a Toad and Joltic for a train as well. He must not have anything in his hand, or he has Juniper or Sycamore, whichever one he's playing. So, Battle Compressor, discards some Pokemon. We'll probably see multiple Night Marches hit the field. So, Battle Compressor. And since he already has Marsh out in the active spot, he doesn't need to put down like a Joltic or um, a Pumpkaboo. He can just attack with the active one, which is a little bit better for us. We can get that stuck in the active spot. And there's a Shebe coming down. Gonna set it for five. So now he's got two low HP EXs in the field, 150 to 110 damage guy. Focus Sash going to the active, which is irrelevant for us. Oh, and there's a red card. That's probably really bad for us unless we top deck out of it, which we didn't really. Uh, so DC the active, pass up to our turn. All right, so we get a VS Seeker. All right, so put down Zora. We'll love a ball. Um, so he's taking a knockout next turn, so we need to grab a Shelmet no matter what for the following turn. That red card hurt us. All right, grab Shelmet, put down Shelmet, press done. Uh, we could put down the Silent Lab, and then he can't attack us. But I want to see if he burns a Stadium card first. So Guzma up the Zora, which is a, a fine with this play. Sends up Deontay, retreats to Marshadow, takes a knockout. Okay, 
And like I said, I'm fine with him knocking out the Zora. He's not knocking out Shelmet. We can maybe deck and cover this turn and have another Shelmet for the following turn. So send up Shelmet. On our turn, what do we top deck? Alright, we'll put down a Selgor, put down Sound Lab. Uh, can't do anything else, and we'll press done. Of course, he plays Dimension Valley, which is uh, the main thing I'm concerned about. And if we top deck a Tapu Lele, we can't use our supporter card or our ability. So, Marsh Shadow coming down. He can't use Shadow Hunt. He's already played Dallas Machine, okay? So, Sycamore discarding a VS Seeker, okay? Going to get seven new cards. <laughs> oh, there's, okay, there's D Valley. Um, Night March for the knockout. We send up Shelma and probably just lose this game as well. Alright, so Tom said he played 150 games, but out of these games, we, uh. Yep, so we lost that one too. Okay, well, we'll try it uh, We'll try a third time. Okay, so both hands have been terrible. Okay, we'll try again. This is probably the biggest part of the deck. It's like you're just playing against um, setting up. And this is. I would be scared to play the second Portland Regionals because you. So far out of the three games, we uh, did not set up correctly in any of them. I guess two. So. See, Black Magic. Alright, let's see. It looks like he's playing Archie's Toys, which is great. Um, that means he's probably playing double Keldeo. So we won the point flip, alright, so this is our first time going first. But both games have not looking good for us. Alright, so we start Lillipop, we put down Zora. We can Ultra Ball Way, Silent Lab, and VS Seeker to get a Lele Wonder Tag for Brigetti here. Oh, Toad, great. <clears throat> Um, Ultra Ball Way 1 and 2. Uh, yeah, I want to hold on to the DOS machine. Guzmo, we, not need, we might need it next turn. So we'll grab Lele Winter Tag. Okay. We'll go for a supporter card. We'll grab a Bridget here. Alright, so a Bridget, we need to grab. A Shaman for next turn. A Dusk Gold immediately. Uh, we, I guess we don't need Dusk Gold immediately. We can play down Skyfall eventually and then bump some stuff off. So grab that. Grab a Lily Pup. And then grab another Zora. Do we have two Zorks in here? We only have one. So grab one of these. And. So I guess we'll grab another Shaman. Yeah, so grab these three. Alright, so I'll press down to our opponent's turn. And if he has a DC and Quaker punches us, we're going to be in trouble. But we have Guzma to maybe help us out. We can Guzma, send up the Lele if he benches a bit of Pokemon, and start using uh, Energy Drive. Hmm. Uh, Shelmet's good, of course, because Duncan Cover has some weakness. He's weak to grass. Uh, we need to find a Skyfill eventually. There's a Lysander. Going to bring up the Shelmet, okay? Poison Barb the active, DCE, uh, so, okay, Vermic City Gym coming down, DCE, Quake Punch for 30, can't use any of our item cards, unfortunately. Alright, so 30, hopefully we top deck in a Selgor, Sycamore, alright, so with DC the active, we'll play Sycamore, discard our hand, put on 7 new cards, can we find in the Selgor, and we do, alright, so put down a Selgor, we will deck and cover, the question is, who do we send in? We could send in the Shelmet. And then that way we could just knock out the Toad the following turn. Because we can level ball. What? That, that's... That's not how that card works. He, he, <laughs> if the Pokemon this card is attached, if your active Pokemon is damaged by an opponent's attack, uh, the opponent who attacked him was the previous uh, Selgor. How does that work? Because that's not how... I don't think that's how that works. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that's definitely not how Poison Barb works. <laughs> Unless I'm reading the card wrong. If the Pokemon's card is attached to your active Pokemon, it's damaged by opponent's attack. The attacking Pokemon is not confused. I guess technically since there's not an attacking Pokemon, I thought since like a Selgor hit it, he would get poisoned, but then he goes back into the deck. Uh, not think that would happen, or I would have promoted the uh, Lily Pup instead. 
Great. All right. Well, uh, show is about to get knocked out thanks to Verbic City Gym. Okay. Uh, all right. So, good things are happening. I mean, um, at least he's taking Scythe Noble get knocked out going back into his turn because he'll take additional 30 damage. And we'll take a pr two price cards. Okay. We can double Love Ball for actually for a lot of stuff this turn. Because we got the Love Ball for Herdier, Love Ball for Herdier play. Um, we can then get Ultra Ball for Zork, um, trade away some stuff, and then we'll almost be set up. We'll just have to find a Shelman again. So Floatstone to the Tapu Lele, Pass for the Knockout. The Scythe Total will also take 30 damage for his Verbank. So his own Verbank is hurting him as well, which is great. Going back into his turn, he'll get knocked out. So I'm going to promote the Tapu Lele right now. All right, so under our turn, we will oh, put down Zork. Okay. Lovable for a Herdier. We'll put down a Herdier. Okay. Um, we are going to grab a Ultra Ball, actually. Could grab VS Seeker to grab Sycamore, but I'm going to grab Ultra Ball. Yeah, so we grab Ultra Ball here. I'm going to trade away the Zor to draw two new cards. Alright, we'll Ultra Ball away a Rare Candy in DCE to find a Stoutland. We'll Rare Candy Stoutland. Put down Duskull, put down Shelmet, and then we'll just press Done onto my opponent's turn for knockout. Because he's, he's taking, we're taking a knockout because of poison. Alright, so we go down to four price cards. We find a Colrus and a Field Blower. Okay, so Colrus is going to help us out a lot next turn. Here comes Tapu Lele. The only problem right now is, is he does click a bunch of us. This, top, this Tapu Lele will eventually fall. <clears throat> um, that's fine. I need the Tapu Lele to get knocked out anyway. It's holding up a bench spot, which our Mew will be. So, Computer Search discarding in and Sycamore. We'll probably see a Scythe hit the field. Okay. He's got to find Scythe to a DC. If he doesn't find this, then we might be okay. We haven't, we've haven't. we already used Dallas Machine, but we have more hard ears we can use to get back stuff. Uh, we'll see Toad Laser. Okay, let's see. Does he flip heads or tails? So heads, we are asleep. There's a DC, so we will see a Quaked Punch here. And a VS Seeker for an N, maybe? No, not N, because we only have three cards. That'd be kind of silly of him to do that. Probably getting just Sycamore, unless this one card is really important. Then he's going to grab Cynthia. So that one card hand is really needed for him. All right, he wouldn't have done that if he didn't need it. Oh, Okay, so Cynthia going to do a hand of six. This top of Lele will eventually fall, which is fine. Um... <clears throat> And there's a Viper coming down, so we take one more damage, one more poison counter in between turns. Once again, not too worried about that at all. Okay. Um, we just need to find a Skyfield. Um, get down more Pokemon. Maybe get rid of this Tapu Lele. There's a Scyfield coming down. Trainer's Mill. Because he's not going to take a knockout until like 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Unless he finds Choice Band, he's not going to take a knockoff like three turns. So we got a couple turns just to wait it out. So Quake Punch for 30. There's the 40. So up to 70. Tells. Alright, so we get a uh, Lele. Alright, so we're at a course for 7. Alright, so we're going to trade away the Brigetti here. Get two new cards. Okay, so not playable at all. So press down into our opponent's turn. We'll take 40 damage. Actually, we will get knocked out going back into his turn. He's going to Quake a Punch just for knockout. Okay. Um, But if we put a DC on the Shelmet, so there's a Guzma. Going to bring up the Shelmet. Does he have a um a laser here? So Toad coming up. If he doesn't have laser, we're okay. Oh, no, there's laser. All right, so good, great, laser, heads. How many um, things are in here? Let's see. Uh, there's 
Okay. There's three of these guys. Alright, cool. Hmm. We'll set up Stalin, so you can't use the Porter cards now until our turn. Oh, there's the Silver top deck. Great. Alright, so we'll course for a, a ton. So, what? Yep, that's fine. Yep, we'll get a ton here. Alright. Well, we'll trade away Egg. I don't know if our other Shelmet's in the deck. That's what I really need to know. Well, that's not anything I want. So, press done. He can use Laser for a Stalin, but he can't use any supporter cards. Okay. Okay. So, it's a Poison Barb. I don't care about that. Actually, I do care about that because I think I, this card's not working correctly in my head. Maybe it is, and I'm just silly. Alright, so we're Gladian. We'll see what's in our prize cards. Okay, some unplayable stuff. So the the uh, Shelmet's in the deck, so that's good. Um, we'll Propagate. We'll trade away the egg. Okay, so yeah, we'll trade away the egg and two new cards. Please let me find some good stuff. Okay, that's not what I wanted. So press down to our opponent's turn. Great, good. Um, he's already played it. Two lasers, just a trainer's mail. Okay, does he find a laser to try to hurry up and knock us out? Oh, there's his third laser. Okay, great. Good, good, good. He's already played computer search, so he doesn't play DOS machine. There's a laser. Okay. Uh, heads, we're sleeping. Night, night, stat land. Okay. Quake and punch. All right. <clears throat> All right. Hmm. Great, that's fantastic. All right, this, this, um, propagate, um, trade away the egg and draw two new cards. There's another stout land, okay, and then we will colors for seven. Is that Guzman discard pile? Oh, our Guzman's a discard pile. Great. Good. How much HP? This guy's a three tree cost. Oh my lord. Alright, so we need colors to find Verbink here. Yep, that's fine. Whatever. Or right, Skyfield, not Verbink. Just kidding, we didn't find it. Alright, cool. So Stalin gets knocked out. We promote the other Stalin, but our Guzman's a discard pile. So I think our only plan is to like. Hope he doesn't have VS Seeker, which he probably does. Then he can knock our only Shelmet. Alright, so press done. Stalin get knocked out. Uh, uh, how do we get out of this, like, Quake and Punch lock right now? That's what I'm trying to figure out. How many... Okay, maybe we just manually evolve into a Stoutland again? He's got to play three lasers. He's got one left. So he's gonna quake a punch for 30 every single turn. So quake a punch, okay. On our turn. We'll put down Lily Pup. We'll put down this. Oh, no, that's the wrong card. There we go. We will propagate. <clears throat> Trade away an egg. Draw two new cards. Okay. We can put a DC on this guy and then try to find another DCE. Which will only have one DC left, so if he plays the Rosic, we'll be in trouble. Uh, so we can't do that play. So we'll just press. We'll just play in. Yep, that's fine. That's fine, whatever. We'll get in here, get a new hand. Oh, there's Skyfield. Okay, good. Alright. Not helpful right now, but we'll press done. Alright, so on their opponent's turn, okay. I'm gonna draw a card, cool. So he's got a long time to knock us out, and as soon as he puts down his fourth laser, we're gonna put down the uh the skyfield to counter it. So another sub viper hitting the field, okay. I'm just really worried about this poison barb. So flow stone to the sub viper. I don't care about that. Quake a punch for another 30. Alright, so he probably has nothing in hand, obviously. So we will propagate, trade away the egg. Alright, so trade away the egg, draw two new cards. Let's see what we get here. Give me a lily pup. That's not what I needed. Alright, so press done. On to our opponent's turn, we'll have, okay, so three, six, nine. So he's got three turns to knock us out. 
I mean, he's got three turns to think about what we're going to do with our life. Another Quigget Punch, okay, for 30. So he got six, 50 HP left, all right. So we'll propagate, trade away the egg again. I know, it's so exciting, guys. So trade away the egg, draw two new cards. Okay, we'll press. Done. I'm really hoping we find a DC next turn so we can take cover with this Mew, but whoever we send up gets punched by that poison bar, which I don't think is how it's supposed to work. Okay, so Stretcher, what's he gonna grab here? Another Toad. Alright. I really need to find a Lily Pup this turn. Alright, so Poison Barb, good, great. Quake a Punch into 30, great. On our turn, that's not a Lily Pup. Alright, so we'll propagate, trade away the egg. This is going good, it's going great. Alright, trade away the egg and two new cards. Please let me find a Lily Pup. I know they're in there. Just kidding. Not gonna find one. All right. So hurry your Stoutland falls. We de we can deck and cover. Okay. So press done. Yep. This is going good. This is going great. All right. We need to find a lot of stuff next turn. So quick punch for the knockout. All right. So he's he's free to use his build his his supporter cards next turn because uh. We're not getting a, a Stoutland out this turn. <clears throat> Alright, so on our turn, let's see if we get an end. Alright, so put down Mew. We will propagate. Trade away an egg. Watch me find the good cards now. Just kidding, still not nothing. Okay, so we end them. We can deck and cover. If we deck and cover, we don't find anything for a couple turns. But if he stays, we can. Oh my goodness. Uh, cause we can deck cover, get rid of him punching his face for one turn, and then we could counter catcher. But how do we lock him again? And that's the question. Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out as it's coming. And then Poison Barb hits us, which is like not supposed to happen that way. So put down Skyfield. To bump his Verbank. We're going to put down Duskull. So that way if he does bump it, we can get rid of this. We'll put down the Egg as well. Um, so yeah, put down the Egg. Oh my lord. I don't even know who we send in right now. Um, Dak and Cover for... 50 to paralyze poison. We send in the dust call. That's what I think we do here. And we just see what happens. Alright. So he gets poison for some odd reason. Don't make any sense. Alright. So poison. Does he have a VS Seeker to get out of this? I'm going to cry if he does. If he has VS Seeker Guzma, I will cry. Um, we could have in him. Maybe... But then we get less cards, and we draw them back all this stuff again. There's an energy lotto. Okay, look at top seven for a, a, an energy card. I don't care about that. There's a DC going to his hand, or whatever. Okay. There's a DC to the toad. Um... Like, if he doesn't have anything, we're, we're, we can play out of cards, which I don't know exactly where that gets us, because we can't lock him next turn, because we don't have another Shelmet down. All right. VS Seeker for Guzma. Just kidding. That's going to be pretty much game there. If he goes for Guzma here. I don't know why he wouldn't go for Guzma, unless he's, like, a terrible player. He might be, though. And he went for Cynthia. Okay. Okay. I don't know what's happening, but whatever. There's a Skrelp. Okay. Verbate coming down. So we're going to discard the Lele. Alright. 
So poison damage kicking off. All right. So he goes on a one prize card. Okay, let's see here. How do we want to do this? I'm going to send in the Mew. All right. On our turn, we will Rare Candy Stoutland. We will Rare Candy Dustnor. Okay. Floatstone this guy. Play this to get rid of one and two. Press done. I want to keep the flush on the active. We're definitely going to end in this turn. I want to Ultra Ball discard an Ultra Ball and Sycamore. Yep. To grab a Shelmet. The plan is to yawn this turn and hope he stays asleep. All right, show me. Don't laugh, Chelsea. That's a real thing we're doing here. <laughs> All right, so we got one trade. One trade to count. So trade away counter catcher because I need these. Uh... Okay, so we got the DCE. We're going to go for young. Oh, we could actually quake and punch him. And him to one quake and punch. Ooh, okay. Okay. Gets in. Okay, so we're in here. We're gonna. Did we via seeker first? To grab Guzma? Or in? Nah. I think we just. No, so we via seeker for in, just in case he does quick a punch the following turn. Okay, so grab in. We'll in him. Alright, so he gets one. We get four. Okay. So let's see. He needs. Wait, hold on. All right, so we could just go for a Quake and Punch, and then three, four. He comes up, so he needs to have fifty HP left. So one here, right? Because three, four, come back to our turn. He gets knocked out because we punch him for thirty with poison, forty. Come back turn 50 for knockout. Uh, we'll put a DC on this guy. And then we'll Quake a Punch for 30. Go back to his turn 4 to come back to us 15 for the knockout. All right, so Quake a Punch. All right, so we're poisoned. Whatever. He can't knock us out this turn. Wait, can he? Unless he has Verbank. I'm not dramatic. This is very exciting, Chelsea. <laughs> I thought we were going to lose, and now we're going to win. Send that toad up. Yeah, you're a bad player. There you go, buddy. Alrighty. Put down a subboard. We will trade away the Zark, and now we're going to win. If we lose, I'll freak out, and I'll blame Chelsea. Put a DC here. We will deck and cover. All right, so 50, poison, paralyzed. We finally got the lock off. It only took us forever. Uh, I'll send this out land. He can't use anything, and we are going to win this game now. All right, I'm trying to punish I'm going to draw a card. Because we send up Sugar, and we duck cover for the win. Oh, my goodness. That was a stressful game there, but we did it. We did it. Thank you to Chelsea for supporting us, laughing at me the whole time. And there was a victory coming down, and we won the game. I thought we were going to lose that for sure. My opponent made a huge misplay that one turn where he should have went for Guzman, went for Cynthia, and that won us the game. I mean, if it was a better player, he definitely would have went Guzman, and we would have lost. But I don't know what he was thinking. But we'll take that win. But, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Like I said, Bark Cover is a very complicated deck to play, but once it sets up, it does have like pretty much auto win against everything except, like I said, double Keldeo and the double stand in. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks to Clayton. I'm going to beat up Chelsea here in a second. Uh, Tom, and uh, I'm, I know I'm missing the third person. Who's the third person? Huh? Scott. Scott. How do you remember his name? And Scott, yeah, like, like Chelsea said. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you tomorrow for Fan Friday. 
Alrighty, bye.